Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today we are going to be showcasing how you can set up specific resources for your scoreboard. And this is going to be using a custom resource pack or a texture pack rather. And uh, I got a lot of questions on one of my previous videos. How do you add it to a scoreboard? So we got some custom images over there. So I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps of this. And the link down in the description will be kind of like a, an example video of the resource pack where you can add it to your server and kind of mess around with it. So I'm going to kind of jump through the steps of how to get those images on, how to set up the specific codes for it, and how to implement everything into your server. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So once you have downloaded the pack, this is what it's going to be look like. Obviously, at the very end of the video, you'll have the extra textures, but I'm going to be going through how to add your own additional textures with the resource pack that I provide. If you want to look up how to make your own completely custom one from scratch, there is plenty of other videos on YouTube. You can kind of look through that. But this is just going to be adding specific texturing and then implementing into your Minecraft server uh, with plugins uh, or just uh, displays in general. So for example, if we go into assets, Minecraft, and then textures, I have a folder called SB, which just stands for scoreboard, just uh, for me a little bit more organization. So we have a clock and then we have the island and that is what is represented in the scoreboard. And then if we back out of here into font and then the default.json, I'm actually going to open this with Visual Studio Code. So then here is how the JSON is set up. So I have this already pre-configured. Uh, you can have it lined out just stretched all the way across. I personally like this format a little bit better because it's kind of easier to see of how things work. So uh, for example, we have the type, which is going to be bitmap file. This is just going to be the Minecraft and then colon. And then this is our designated location. So if we pull up our resource here, so if we go into assets, Minecraft, and then it's all automatically going to be looking for the texturing, so textures, and then here is going to be the SB. So we have SB, and then we have the clock.png, and then the island.png. So that's kind of how those things are laid out. And then an ascent and height is basically the length and width, uh, depending on how far you want to size it up in game. Um, so this is 11 right now. You can set it to like eight or nine if you want a little bit smaller. Uh, but to give you an example here, if I bring over Minecraft, so these are both 11 height, and if you want it to be higher or lower, uh, that is going to change the size depending on what it shows in game. So just bear that in mind. These are the different dimensions you can set. And then the characters, this is kind of like the, the important part of how it represents what it's going to translate into this file. So this is actually a Unicode character. So if we take a look at this, this is actually an invalid Unicode character. So if I pull up Google here, and I just paste this in, this is a Unicode character. And so if we look at the very first thing, uh, you can go like to char base. Uh, each of these do have a good representation. Um, so this is an invalid character. And your browser doesn't see anything because it, it is invalid. However, when we actually paste this specific thing in game, we can actually see it's going to reroute into that specific PNG. So if I go ahead and just paste this in chat, as you see, that is the clock. And uh, we can highlight it with and F to make it bright. As you see, this one's a little bit darker. Um, so you can use and F or and R, either one does work. And so that is why it's a little bit brighter in my scoreboard as well. So that specific character is what it's looking for. So this is the zero one. And then if we do the zero two, um, if we go back to our uh, uh, website here, we just put in that. Another uh, invalid character, if we just copy this and then paste this in Minecraft, as you see, those are the clock and then the island. So that is kind of a good representation of how that works. And you can use uh, whatever random invalid character that you want. You can use emojis, you can use like braille code, you can use uh, random text characters. Uh, so you can pretty much use whatever you want. So I'm going to head and kind of go through uh, my Minecraft scoreboard here. So we have a money and then we have world on the end here. So I want to get uh, PNG of money and then probably some sort of pixel art of world. So this is how I usually do it. I go to just make a new tab here and we can look up money 
pixel art. All right, that's literally all I do. And then I can kind of browse. Um, let's see, hey, this looks great. I can go here. That looks like a, a perfect image. I can save this. And then it is a PNG, so that is good. I am going to edit this in Photoshop. So you can either use uh, Paint PNG, Camp, uh, Photoshop, whatever <laughs> editing software you like to use. So I'm just gonna call this money. All right, so here we have this opened in Photoshop and I already made a 256 uh, PNG transparent. So as you can see here, if I look at the canvas width and height, it is 256. So make sure it is 256 by 256 pixels. Uh, obviously you can size that out if you do want to, but essentially I'm just gonna grab this here. I'm gonna paste this over here and then I'm gonna resize it to my 256 area. So we can resize it. Uh, we can go about right there. I think that looks pretty good. And it's okay if the image bleeds out of the 256 canvas. We just kind of want this main thing here. So then I'm going to go ahead and just export this as a PNG. So here's my export. And uh, we can just verify everything is 256, yes, and we do want it to be PNG. So make sure whatever image that you're using, it is 256 or smaller, and it is PNG. So let's go ahead and export that. So then going back to Google or Bing or whatever. <laughs> um, so now we can look up a world of pixel art. And then we can see, uh, hey, this one looks pretty good. I'm just going to save image as. It is a JPEG, but we can edit that in Photoshop or whatever. And I'm gonna call this world file, all right? So we can save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring up Photoshop again. And if we go ahead and bring up our world file, and then we can basically just take this and we can bring it over to this part. I'm gonna delete my layer here. And then we can basically resize this world uh, all the way down here. That looks fine. So I'm gonna head and edit the background here, get that the blue out of here. And then uh, we can actually bump this up just a little bit. And I think that will be Good. There we go. Yeah, I think I think I like that. So now that we have the PNG, we can go ahead and save that. It is PNG 256. Perfect. We can export that and we'll just call this world file and we can just replace that. Uh, actually, it is just the PNG and the other one was JPEG. So we're good there. So now that we have our images exported, we can go ahead and move those over to our resource pack and then we're going to edit our JSON file. So this is my world file and money. So both of those uh, we can go ahead and and move over. So these are in the assets, Minecraft textures, and the SB folder. And then here we have money and world file. So now in our JSON folder, or file rather, we can go ahead and just copy this here. And no, we're just going to copy and paste. And I do like about Visual Studio Code, it does tell you, hey, there is a comma missing, so we can put a comma there and a comma there, and you can validate these. If you're just using Notepad, you can. there's online validators you can check. Uh, but for example, here we have a clock, island, and this one can just be money. So we can call this money PNG, because that is going to be referencing this image right here. And then the next one is gonna be world file, and that is what we need to do right here. So world file, and the path is correct. And I'm gonna ahead and bump this specific world one up to like, uh, we can do 22. And you can kind of see the difference in sizes between those. And then the next thing we can do is change the character here for the Unicode. I just like to bump up the numbers and we can do three or four, just to keep it organized. As I mentioned, you can use emojis in here. Um, so let's actually do that for the world. Let's use an emoji. So we can do a uh, world emoji. We can do world emoji, and yeah, that, there we go. There's the world emoji. We can basically just copy this here, and we can just pop this in right like so. So whenever someone pastes the world emoji, it's going to reference the PNG file. And then going back to our resource pack, everything is in here, so that's perfect. We can go back out of this a little bit. And as you see, we have assets, pack, and then the pack PNG. So now we need to zip these things up. So we'll go ahead and compress to zip file and that is going to have us name this i'm going to just call this strikers sb pack so now we have the resource pack and make sure when you do zip the file it's automatically has assets pack and pack.png so make sure when you open it up these are the three files that you're greeted with otherwise it will not work and just make sure you do have those zipped properly 
So a few more steps we need to go through is adding our texture pack online and then putting it in our server dial properties and then adding the unicodes to our scoreboard. So I like to use MC packs. You can just Google uh, Minecraft resource pack hosting. There's a few that you can find online, uh, but I will leave this link down in the description. So we can choose my file. This is the zip file. I'm gonna head and open that and then uh, hit upload and that's going to go ahead and upload that for us and then we can use our specific download pack so uh, i'm going to head and copy that url and then we can go to our server and paste that in so on our server we can scroll down to our server.properties if you guys need a minecraft host be sure you do check out revival node you can use my code to save 15 percent off at checkout and then we can find resource and here is our resource pack we can basically just input that and that is the direct download and we can go ahead and save that. Next, we can go to our plugins. I'm gonna be using simple score. So simple score is for my scoreboard. Here is the scoreboard.yml. And here you can kind of see, hey, this is uh, the previous ones. This is the Unicode characters that we have for the clock and then for the island. Now we need to add the uh, Unicodes for our money and then for our world. So if we remember here, I believe our money, yeah, was 003. So essentially we can just bring up uh, this character base again. You can copy this and there is our invalid character. So this is for 003. So we can go back to our server here and then uh, this is our money symbol. So we can place in our money symbol just like so. And then for our world file, it is going to be that world emoji. So this is what we're gonna be using right here. And then we can also paste in our world emoji like so. So that should go ahead and uh, reference our specific PNGs that we just added. So we can go ahead and save both of those contents uh, and let's go ahead and restart our server. All right, so on our server, uh, if we do add to the server list, make sure it is on prompt or enabled, either one of those should work. And then we can go ahead and do this. So we can go ahead and join and we should get a prompt to download. As you see, there it is. Let's go ahead and make that request and it did download properly, so that is perfect. And let's see what we got going on. Perfect, look at that. In our scoreboard, we do have our money and our world, our island, and then our clock. So everything is working perfectly. As I did mention, we did bump up those specific items, uh, specifically the world, we made it pretty large. But if we go ahead and paste in that world emoji, as you see, that world emoji is pretty large and you can change that specific sizing in the uh, pack data here. So as you see, we did make it 22 by 22. You can narrow this down a little bit just so it's not as crazy <laughs> uh, so that is how you kind of edit those specific sizing and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video as you see it's a little bit dark here if we do and F it's gonna shine up right perfectly and I did forget to add the money in there as well but if we go ahead and check our money symbol here which is this one the Unicode uh, 3 if we paste this in chat here it is the money symbol that looks great I love that and then we can go ahead and make it all shiny so that is how you add specific unicode characters or resource packs to your specific plugins uh here we have just a scoreboard you can do it in tab uh, i have seen also like luck perms where it uh, has the specific uh, item tag which is pretty cool and fancy if you guys want to see more a little bit in depth of how to do it in like luck perms or tabs or things of that nature kind of the same process but there might be a few nuances here and there let me know if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like share the video around and i will see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>